So all joking aside, I think we know that Rihanna loves her phone and <laughs> uses it daily to speak to a vast global audience through tweets and selfies and social media generally. That's just one way she's made herself heard in the world. Another is through her music, that magical singing voice, which is a gift we are all so grateful for. But I am here tonight to talk about how Rihanna communicates through fashion, because of course, that is what style icons do. They tell us captivating stories about themselves and about the world we live in through the boldness and beauty of their clothes. Whether it's the simple white Stella McCartney floor-length dress she wore to the Met, a vision of Hedy Lamarr Hollywood glamour mixed with the hard-edged chic of Grace Jones, or her 80s banji girl moment in a cartoonish shilling jacket and Cleopatra wig for a recent Paris show. Rihanna speaks to her fans with her every look. And what she says to them, and I include all of us in that group, is that it's fun to feel a little boyish one day and dress up like a dazzling diva the next. I think that's what she was going for tonight. <laughs> The point is to be audacious, even jaw-dropping or button-pushing, and yes, we know she enjoys pushing buttons, while remaining true to yourself. She proves that incredible style can help take a talented young woman from a small island to the world stage, and along the way, spark a lot of conversation about elegance and empowerment. It's been an honor to have that dialogue with her, and I am so pleased to present the 2014 CFDA Fashion Icon Award to my tweeting buddy, Rihanna. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Anna Wintour. <sighs> I'm nervous, so my hand is shaking. I might drop this, hold on. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you to all of my inspiration, all the designers who, you can hear me? All the designers who have inspired me, all, all these designers in the room, models, I mean, I grew up in a really small island, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of access to fashion. But um, as far as I could remember, fashion has always been my defense mechanism. Even, even as a child, I would, I remember thinking, she could beat me, but she cannot beat my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> And to this day, I mean, that is how I think about it. I mean, I can compensate for all my, my weaknesses with my fashion. And it's a way that you really, you can, you can I enjoy the most um, that you can tell so much about who someone is just by their style, the way they put fashion together. And I think fashion is, has just been an outlet for me to express myself, um, to speak up, to say who I am, and to be very loud about it <laughs> at times. And I just like to have fun with it. It's, fashion is just a world of, of, of thrill. It's exciting, there's, so, there's no rules, there's just, I mean, she has tons of rules. <laughs> let, 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 scratch that, scratch that. There are rules, but rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Mac for being so supportive and keeping my face always 
cute. I want to thank my glam team, all, all of the stylists that I've worked with, because it, it's been steps and stages to get here, and now I can't believe that we're here at the CFDA Awards. Mel Ottenberg, thank you so much. You, you, you get me. You, you honestly get me, and you understand what I'm trying to say. I just, I could send you two pictures and you'll bring back the rack full of exactly what I wanted. And there, there's, there's nothing better than that because fashion should never be frustrating, that frustrating. It should be fun. You make it easy for me. I want to thank everybody here tonight, my friends, my family for being supportive. Thank you guys. Good night. It reminds me of where I started, where I came from. I just, it, it's, it's, it has been an incredible journey, but you know, I can't believe that this is where we are now. You know, from, from being a little island girl on the beach in flip flops or, or barefoot to like literally having fun in the most, I mean, I get to wear a lot of expensive clothing, a lot of nice gowns and stuff like that, and I really appreciate it. Fashion has just been fun. It's, it's you know, every little girl's dream to dress up.